Hi, I'm Louise Bedsworth, and I'm an environmental policy researcher at the Public Policy Institute of California. I'm going to talk to you today about climate change and what it means for the state's future. Climate change poses a large threat to the state. The most recent scientific projections estimate that over the coming century, annual average temperature could increase anywhere from 3 to 8 degrees Fahrenheit. This will depend on the amount of emissions that go into the air and how sensitive the climate is to those emissions. Climate change is caused by greenhouse gas emissions build up in the atmosphere. In California, the largest source of emissions is the transportation sector. About two-thirds of transportation emissions come from passenger cars and trucks, and the remainder from trucks, buses, and other heavy-duty and off-road sources. The next largest source of emissions in the state is electricity generation. California has been a leader in addressing climate change. As early as 2002, the state passed the first ever requirement to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from new passenger vehicles. In 2006, the state adopted the Global Warming Solutions Act, or AB 32, which requires the state to reduce emissions to 1990 levels by 2020. And this is a first step towards a longer term goal to reduce emissions 80% below 1990 levels by 2050. As I said, AB 32 requires the state to reduce emissions to 1990 levels by 2020. The largest source of emission reductions will come from the transportation sector, both through standards for new vehicles and changes in vehicle fuels. The next largest source of emission reductions will come from the increased use of renewable electricity sources such as wind and solar and an increase in energy efficiency programs. In addition to these large-scale programs, the state is undertaking several other innovative approaches to reducing emissions, such as undertaking efforts to reduce the amount people drive through the integration of transportation and land use planning at the local level. Despite these efforts on the part of the state, the nation, and other countries, some amount of climate change appears to be inevitable. Because of this, California needs to be preparing for the potential impacts of climate change, and this is a process known as adaptation. Over the coming century, as temperatures increase, we're likely to see a reduction in the amount of snowpack in the state's mountains. This is an important source of water storage and therefore will pose a threat to the state's water supply. In addition, increasing temperatures are likely to increase the risk of prolonged and severe extreme heat events, such as the one the state experienced in 2006 in which over 140 people died. California has shown real leadership on climate change but some of the largest challenges lie ahead. Over the next several years, the state's going to be implementing programs that will go towards reaching the 2020 emission reduction target and set the way towards the 2050 emission reduction target. In addition, the state's going to need to be tracking progress and seeing how we're doing in meeting those goals. And finally, the state's going to need to be observing and preparing for the impacts of climate change to protect the state's resources and infrastructure and health. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen to this.